Welcome again to my dragon cave. Okay, so, oh, might as well show you guys. So the, I, my pillars are up. Gold pillar, gold pillar, and my pyramid in my kitchen. Yes, I was inspired to do so, and I know the sacred geometry that goes on that. So anyway, here it is. Right now, I am having extreme conflict, and I love this effect, of the empowered feminine and going back to my J-O-B. I love my job. I really do. It's, it's one of the easiest jobs you'd ever have in the world. All you got to do is build. All you got to do is follow protocol procedure. Boom, in, out, done. Okay? But... I, 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 am, I am in turmoil with it, and I'm feeling this in my body and in my clothes. So right now, I'm not even kidding. Yesterday, I, actually, since I got back, so that was, what, Saturday morning at 4.30. So Saturday, when I finally got up, and yesterday, I have changed clothes like three or four times, and I got brought back to one of the young misses on our trip. She was like, you know, the, the, the divine feminine is feeling constricted. Well, I'm feeling constricted, and I'm like, I've had to change my clothes to match the vibration that I am resonating at at any particular moment. I do know that I need to wear my purple today, so I've got my purple on, and go for it. So I've been asking myself the question, you know, how can I? You know, what inside me invited this to be? And allowing my clarity to just be. So I'm going to start offering oracle card readings again. And I'm going to start doing my crystals again. Plus coaching. All right. My website's not set up yet. And the format that I want to use is going to incorporate sending you to Sri and Kira's site to obtain the NIM. So if you've done the NIM, great. And if you don't feel like you where you need to be, then... You know, I will be happy to assist you. I'm even considering the whole travel to different locations. I'm not even considering it. It's kind of a done deal. Um, <laughs> again, we have the dragons here. There's a reason uh, <laughs> to really amplify this. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm open to the flow and availability and expansion. So... Yeah, there's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy, and it's just bringing it down. I'm anchoring it, and it's time to do this. I, I'm just done with stifling my voice and the restrictions. Why the hell are the restrictions there? Because it's to silence your consciousness. It's truly there to silence your consciousness. You already know what the right thing is to do, and you're just not doing it. Oh, that would be Ken. Hey, Ken, say hi. Hello. Hello. And here's my mother, Mary. Yay. I know, I've got video for that, too. All right, peeps. I love you. I'll holler at you later. Bye for now. Hello, Leapshas. So I had this huge calling. I needed to go to the woods. And as you can see, I was able to change my shirt because I was like, I can't be constricted. No more. So yes, very powerful words spoken earlier. And I know the actions that are kind of formulating that I need to take. I'm, I'm letting myself be clear. Okay. Um, the ego side of me right now is having a temper tantrum like it's okay you can go in your car seat i love you you can go in your car seat i choose trust um so yeah that's happening in my world right now and it's only like 10 11 o'clock in the morning anyway speaking of which it is an awesome energy awesome frequency shift it was like being recharged and having a lot of aha moments and, and i'm still unpacking the entire trip and still unpacking my soul's journey and i'm just like let it be let it be let it be let it be clear boom you know i'm authentic be in that energy and roll with it 
So how are you doing? You know, how are you being true to yourself? Are you being true to yourself? And embodying that joy. Everything around you is going to shift. And you have to be okay with that. Stay out of your ego. Stay out of the, the I want to have a confrontation moment. And really just stand in your power okay that's your opinion thank you walk away you know don't have a judgment about it you know don't let yourself be treated like a doormat either and that's about where i'm at in my thought processes breathing in this beautiful fresh mountain air wondering if i'm going to see the parrot again out here who knows and enjoying my time with ken in the sun I even borrowed my bug spray. <laughs> Typically, I wouldn't wear that stuff, but now I am. So, interesting. Very interesting times. Interesting moments. And not future pacing myself, taking my, myself out of presence. Maintaining presence. So, thank you for listening. I love you all. And, you know, hit me up until I get my website going. I can start doing readings. I know I'm ready and I'll holler at you later. Bye for now. All right, I'm back. So as you can see, I asked the dragons for a little bit of wisdom for the channel because I'm going to be putting this in with the videos. And the card that came forward is gratitude. And yes, there is so much to be grateful for. Uh, so I'm going to read from the book first, but alongside love, gratitude is the highest form of energy. However, we make very little use of it. And even if we do happen to be grateful just for a second, we soon find ourselves complaining about some small annoyance. By doing so, we immediately find ourselves in an opposing energy. We are being ungrateful. Some people complain that they do not have enough money. This may well be true, but it immediately results in lowered energy. The same person might be grateful that they have too much free time, for example, or that they are healthy. There is always a reason to be thankful, and then you will be vibrating at a higher energy level. The white light or the crystalline dragon would like to guide you to the higher energy levels. So call this shining, powerful creature to you. Visualize it. It will be your constant companion over the next four days. Wherever you go, it will be by your side. Picture it in your mind's eye. I say go up to your start consciousness. This is also a good exercise for your concentration and attention span. Tell this wonderful being that you are grateful for, what you are grateful for. For example, I am grateful for my parents, my grandmother, my sister, my dragons, my friends, whom I list individually in this exercise. I say a little prayer of thanks for each one. Use this time to say thank you. And each time, ask the white light or crystal dragon to bring the energy of gratitude to the people or events you have identified. Feel how the energy levels are lifted ever higher and how your heart begins to glow. It beams with gratitude as it is healed and freed, which is a totally true story. And if you go back and look at the video I did earlier, you know, the whole thing is, is that I know I'm grateful. I literally was just having that conversation, too. I'm grateful for all of the experiences. There's not one thing that I'm not grateful for. Were they fun to go through? Not all of them. Yet there's the nuggets, the gems of you got to make a choice. And even when you feel disempowered, it's still a choice. The choice is always yours. How are you receiving the energy? And the, I'll, I'll be at work. I'm standing on the line, you know things are busy, whatever. I'm just, I'm always saying the mantra of self-ascension or going, okay, this happened. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. You know, or I'm going, thank you for letting me have the wherewithal to keep up. And just even now driving through town, I was like, oh, wow, I'm so grateful I have a car in this heat. You know, I'm grateful for AC. I'm grateful for the water that I have. I'm grateful that I have the capability to be in nature. I'm grateful for the sun. 
you know, it's germinating the seeds and, you know, what's going to grow when it finally rains, you know, simple stuff. But that simplicity is taken for granted. So find the gratitude, be the gratitude, live the gratitude, live it, keep being authentic. Your ego is going to have a trip fit. It's okay. And so it is. Bye for now. Happy afternoon. So how are you empowering your divine feminine, feminine energy? Okay. I have, this is my third time changing today. I'm just, I am, yep, I'm having a moment. I'm doing great. Look, 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 my dress, my beautiful dress. Ta -da. And I also have, hold on, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, looks really good with my sunglasses, don't you think? Well, you will, because I'll be wearing more. Anyway, went out to the woods, as you know, and had a lot of fun out there, and just came back, chillaxed, doing good in the energy, loving the frequency. I know this morning it was kind of Rachel on the warpath mode, but... I'm here, <laughs> I'm very calm right now, <laughs> and a lot of clarity, a lot of shifts, and a lot of joy, so, and I know that this is more of a month of unconditional love, and I am unconditionally loving the hell out of myself, so I hope you are too. Much love, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.